Welcome to Starting Scenery Trees and they don't look like this. We all love to model trees, they're in most areas that we model and I like to look at my scene in three different ways when it comes to trees. You can spend a lot of time on foreground trees, doing wire trees, and we'll look at those in a minute, but they take quite a long time. And yes, they look amazing, but most of us, if we're doing a large area, don't have time. And that's where mid-ground trees come in. They're kind of a little bit more detailed, they've got trunks, they've got maybe polyfiber as the base, and they may even have scale leaves, but they were just a little bit more quick to do. And finally, there's the background trees. These don't even have trunks and they're just generic shapes. But in many areas, wooded hillsides are the norm. So let's start with the jewel in the crown, a wire tree. You can use it to model any species you like and any season that you like. But the downside is it's very time consuming. Simply put, you start with a wire base. You put polyfiber over if you want a denser canopy and then you cover with ground foam and leaves. You make wire trees by bending wires, form them into loops, twist them round so they're nice and secure, then snip the loops at the end. And basically you build that up till you've got a tree. You add something to thicken them so that the wire doesn't show before painting an appropriate tree color, not brown. I use 10 mil static grass to add more branches and follow it up with some coarse ground foam and then some scale leaves. If you set up a production line, it doesn't take that long and this is the end result. I've gone over how to do these in far more detail in the Four Seasons Oak video. You can use the same similar method using just a wooden dowel for a trunk to make a pine tree as on my halo pines here. And here's one I just made earlier as an experiment. It shows how the same techniques can be used to make completely different looking trees. But wire trees are not your only option. You can buy loads of commercial trees. Some of them have amazing armatures you can just add stuff to, and some are natural products. You can beef them up and make them look even better if you combine the two. I've used commercial trees like this for the bulk of my layout though, just for volume terms. I can't be bothered to twist that much wire. I replace the bottom with a spike. It's easier to mount on my hillsides. I paint the trunks a better color and put a wash on them. Once that's done, I spray some glue and add some extra ground foam. I just find they need bulking up occasionally. I even add a bit of sunlight to the top. That can get costly. So these are rosemary or lavender trimmings from my garden. Woodland Scenics do green polyfiber and you can spread it over the top. A quick spray glue, a little bit of that beautiful ground foam and you've got a tree. Sometimes you're just looking for a good trunk. These are buddlier trunks that came out of my friend's garden. You can elevate even the most ordinary tree by adding some scale leaves, and there's a huge variety for you to use. This is an example of some of my mid-ground trees. They're just commercial trees, and when plunked on the layout, they look awful because the colors are often too bright. But a small spray of glue, a sprinkle of green blend woodland scenics, and maybe the odd scale leaf thrown in there, and it starts to look very different. Bear in mind, these aren't that visible, there'll be something in front of them. So we just need to represent the trees. You can make background trees from anything. This is jute rope and mini wire trees. And I just do them just like foreground trees with all the same techniques, just smaller, even down to mini pine trees. By the very back, I just put small trees with a little bit of green blend, and these are Z scale trees, I think, into a piece of foam core and call it good. So let's go look at that scene again. On the right, we've got the foreground wire tree with scale leaves. This took a long time to do, and there's only one of them in the scene. Further back, we have three mid-ground trees. These are the commercial trees with extra ground foam and painted trunks. And by the back, it's Z scale trees shoved into a piece of foam core. If you wanted to make them recede even more, you could consider airbrushing a blue tone over the top or just fading them. So that's it, trees in five minutes. I hope you found it useful. If you did, check out the rest of the starting scenery course or go look at the halo pines that I did at the beginning of this video. 